Howdy, gang, and welcome once again to the Duct Tape Studios. I'm Jeff McAleer, your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. Thanks for joining me once again, and welcome to the Paizo Preview for April 2023. That's right, it is going to be a quieter month for Paizo Inc. than we're used to seeing because essentially there are three releases. We've got a new flip mat, as well as the conclusion of the current Starfinder Adventure Path, as well as the first chapter of a three chapter Pathfinder Adventure Path. In fact, I think it is actually a higher level Adventure Path this time around. Now, normally, I would share an image of each of these releases with the Paizo.com web address. But strangely enough, two of these releases have really tiny images available. Nothing large. I was kind of surprised. So that's okay. We won't have images. But we will be swinging on over to the other camera because we are going to take a look at the trio of releases which are slated to arrive in stores on April 26th. And first off the bat, we've got the Pathfinder Flipmat Boardwalk, which carries an MSRP of $16.99. Or you can grab just the PDF alone for $9.99. Let's take a look at the back here. Come to the boardwalk. Be it a search for the most lucrative marketplace deal, a relaxing trip filled with games of chance and street food, or a harrowing fight against dockside bandits, the city boardwalk offers a little something for everyone. So we've got a 24 inch by 30 inch mat is what we're gonna be taking a peek at here. And let's get the shrink wrap off. There we go. And of course, this is dual sided and you can use wet, dry and a permanent markers. Now, if you use a permanent marker, you have to make sure that you've got an erasable marker that you can write over the permanent marker with and able to uh, to be able to remove it, I should say. So here we've got the boardwalk. To me, this is more like a dock. It really does look more like a dock to me because we've got these various different boats, but then we do have some buildings off over here and along the side as well. Every time I take a look at any of these flip mats or flip tiles, I always mention that these work perfectly for skirmish level miniatures games. They work very, very nicely as terrain mats. So, and there of course are so many different flip mats that are available out there, not only from second edition Pathfinder, but from the first edition of Pathfinder as well. So here, this is the other side of the flip mat. So we've got more docks, more boats, and so forth. All right, there we go. So that is the boardwalk flip mat. For Pathfinder, yeah, you could use it for Starfinder as well. <laughs> Doesn't really matter with that. Once again, this carries an MSRP of $16.99, or grab just the PDF alone for $9.99. Next up, we are going to dive on in and take a first look at the latest adventure path for Pathfinder. It is Stolen Fate. The Choosing is the first adventure in this adventure path. So let's take a look at the back here. Choose your fate. 
when strange cards from a magical harrowed deck manifest without explanation among the belongings of a group of powerful adventurers, the fate of reality falls on their shoulders. You are those adventurers. Are you up to the task of defending fate itself from those who seek to bend the forces of destiny to their whims? The stolen fate adventure path begins with the choosing a complete adventure for 11th to 13th level characters. So it is for higher level characters. So I'm going to take a guess that this three chapter adventure path is going to go from 11th to 20th level. Pretty cool. Normally what we see with adventure paths is they, they kick off with first level characters. Not so with this. Now, keep in mind, this is an adventure. The next Starfinder release we're going to take a peek at is also an adventure. So if you are a player hoping that your game master is either going to run this Pathfinder adventure or the conclusion of the Drift Crisis adventure for Starfinder, definitely recommend Tune Out Now, even though I know really nothing about this adventure outside of what I just read from the back of this book, there are going to be some spoilers as we take a peek on through. So keep that in mind. So you might want to tune out, but probably want to let your game master know about this video so they can take a peek at the choosing as well as the upcoming Starfinder adventure we'll be looking at in just a few moments. Do also want to point out that the fine folks over at Paizo Inc. have provided me with these review copies, but neither I nor anyone else affiliated with the gaming gang has received any other sort of compensation for me to share this coverage with you. So this is Pathfinder Adventure Path number 190, The Choosing, part one of three for the Stolen Fate Adventure Path. This is written by Ron Lundeen. This soft cover carries an MSRP of $26.99, or you can grab the PDF alone for $19.99. Once again, when these arrive on April 26th. So let's see what we have got to start off with. So looks like we've got a bit of a map for the Grand Bazaar and a couple of encounter maps here. So keep in mind, we're not going to look at each and every page, but I do want to get a good feel for what we're going to find in Stolen Fate, The Choosing. Let's see, what, what can we share here? Well, here we've got a bit of a synopsis for the three adventures that are comprising this adventure path. When the PCs discover strange magical hero cards in their possession, a compelling vision draws them to the city of Absalom, where they soon learn the true nature of these magical cards. With fate seeming to push the PCs toward gathering more of these cards, it won't be long before they trigger the creation of a brand new demiplane associated with the cards, the Harrow Court. As the PCs continue to collect the scattered cards, they learn that a villainous opposing group known as the Unmatched has the same goal and ultimately come face to face with one of their members on the legendary Storval Stairs of Varicia. So there you have it. Pretty cool artwork, I can see. So it looks like by the time the characters finish up this adventure, they should be 14th level. Now, also want to mention, because this is a brand new adventure path, there is a player's guide available in PDF. It is a free download over at paizo.com. That happens to be the case whenever we see a new adventure path. We get the player's guide, which will have some some inside dope on what's going on with the adventure path without spoiling anything. 
and usually we'll get some new uh, backgrounds, maybe a new archetype that we can utilize for this as well. So let's see what we have got here. So it looks like we're going to have a bit of an investigation. Facing destiny. We have Varnev the Butcher. That must be one of the, uh, the baddies the player characters are going to face early on. Let's take a look here. We've got their stat block. So I believe this adventure is broken up into three parts. Like we normally will see with the various chapters for Pathfinder Adventure Paths. Every once in a while, we actually will run across one, uh, a chapter that's actually broken up into four parts. I know we saw that recently as well. Just kind of taking a peek on through. Of course, I will have a review of the choosing in the near future. Just taking a peek on through here. So we have chapter one is Luck of the Draw. Chapter two is Scattered Stories. Now we are actually in the third chapter, and it is Queen of the Storval Stairs. Then it looks like we're going to get some... Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Scary, kids, scary! It's like we are going to get some information I was just about to say about the Harrow Court. The Harrowing Three may have created the Deck of Destiny, but their focus on using it to set the future in stone distracted them from understanding the true scope of their accomplishment. By infusing each of the deck's 54 cards with raw quintessence scraped from all corners of the great beyond, they had unwittingly planted the seeds that would eventually grow into the demi-plane known as the Harrow Court. Easiest way to enter the Harrow Court is to use the Enter Harrow Court activity. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So we're going to get a breakdown about this new demi-plane. And then we've got our Adventure Toolbox. There we go. So we get a breakdown of the Deck of Destiny as well as its cards. Or at least the cards that we're going to uh, be exposed to, I would take a guess, just for this adventure. Then, of course, we have also got a bit of a bestiary. To guess, maybe we get uh, some new magic spells? Maybe not. Because I think the bestiary is usually the last piece. Now, it looks like that's just the discussion of the cards. And then we've got our major NPCs. Looks like we've got one or two. Let's see. We have two. And then we get a breakdown of what's coming up in the next chapter, The Destiny War which is written by Chris Sims. And that is a look at the choosing the first part of the three-part Stolen Fate adventure path. Once again, this soft cover carries an MSRP of $26.99, or you can grab just the PDF alone for $19.99. And then lastly, we've got the finale to the Drift Hackers Adventure Path. It is bringing the Drift Crisis to a close, I do believe. And Sammy has been reviewing this 
adventure path. Uh, in fact, she's tackled both of the drift crisis related adventure paths. So she will have a review of Into the Dataverse in the very near future. Fix the drift. The drift crisis reaches its conclusion at last. The heroes enter Triune's Dataverse to try to set right the code injected by the nefarious architects of the Drift Crisis. Taking on digital avatars and battling through corrupt code and other digitized foes, the heroes eventually confront the great flaw at the core of the Triune and have the chance to save the data-corrupted deity. What happens here changes the Drift and the Starfighter setting forever. Forever. So then it tells us what we're going to find inside, but we're going to just take a peek. And this is written by Alexander Agunas. This carries an MSRP for the soft cover of $24.99, or you can grab the PDF for $19.99 once again when it becomes available on April 26th. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got our new ship. That's usually what we'll see on the interiors of the front and back covers. We normally get new starships and deck plans. So I see that is what we've got as per usual. So the adventure background, the drift, domain of the technology deity Triune, and a transitional plane that facilitates rapid travel to distant locations in the material plane was perhaps the greatest wonder of the post-gap age. The alt code gifted mortals with the secrets for accessing the drift shortly after the gap's conclusion via a deific broadcast known as the signal, which transmitted plans for the construction of drift engines to civilizations throughout the galaxy. While most shipwrights follow these schematics as transmitted by Triune even now, there have always been those who want to advance this technology over the past 300 years. It's a pretty wild <laughs> looking creature there. Looks like it's got speakers for its head. It's pretty, pretty bizarre. So this is broken up into three chapters as well. Logging in, access granted, and hard resets. It's like we'll also have some information about continuing the campaign as well as our adventure toolbox. So we're going to have our first chapter here. So this is where I believe the player characters are going to access their avatars and enter into the dataverse. So we've got our access granted. So we've got Databyte Crafting. So it says the helpful Skittermander, Cap Cap, explains the process by which Databytes can be converted into equipment. That's kind of cool. So just taking a peek on through here. I know that Sammy has actually really liked the whole drift crisis. And I know one aspect of the two adventure paths, which have pretty much made up this ongoing campaign. She really likes how the, uh, it seems like the stakes are pretty high. Stakes are pretty high throughout this campaign. And one thing that we will see when this campaign wraps up is the way that adventurers and, you know, the rest of the races out there travel throughout space is going to change. So that was the big deal with the drift crisis itself. So we've got concluding the adventure and then we have a section here continuing the campaign. 
So we're going to have some uh, pages devoted to just continuing the adventure. Then we've got our adventure toolbox. So we've got a new archetype, the hacktivist. It's like we've got some new spells, new gear, and then we get into our best year. I tell people all the time, Starfinder is a really fun space fantasy role-playing game. If you're looking for hard science fiction, this is not the place to go. But if you are looking for fun, unique space fantasy adventures, then by all means, check out Starfinder. And of course, it's probably got some of the most customizable player characters out of any science fiction role-playing game. So let's see, where's our big bad? Is it the robot dragon? Maybe. And then something else we normally will find in each of the adventure paths for Starfinder is a new planet. So that is the Codex of Worlds. And that will wrap up the Drift Hackers adventure path with Into the Dataverse, which is part three of three. Once again, it is written by Andrew Agunas and carries an MSRP of $24.99, or you can grab just the PDF alone for $19.99. And of course, stay tuned. There will be reviews of the Choosing from Myself and Into the Dataverse from Sammy. So stay tuned for those. Of course, my review will be a video Sammy's review will be a written article. All righty then. So that is our quick look into what we've got on the horizon coming this month from Paizo Inc. As I mentioned in the open, kind of a, kind of a small slate of releases from Paizo Inc. this month. Although we do have, obviously enough, We've got the Pathfinder and Starfinder Society adventures, which are going to be available digitally too. So there's a little more than just three releases coming out from Paizo Inc. All right, that is it for this time out. If you like this video, by all means, please give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget Ding that bell, because it'll not only let you know when the Paizo preview arrives each month, it'll also inform you when my live stream, The Gaming Gang Dispatch, airs Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central. Of course, when you're not watching videos on The Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all latest in tabletop gaming news, reviews, and a whole lot more that you will not find here on the YouTube channel. You know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Thanks for taking time out to take a peek at what we've got from Paizo Inc. this month. And of course, until I see you next time, here's hoping each and every one of you gets to enjoy plenty of great gaming with your gang. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, that's okay. You don't have to leave just yet. In fact, why don't you subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel right here or take a peek at the latest live stream or even find out what YouTube recommends you check out from the channel. And of course, I'm Jeff McAleer. Thanks again for watching.